Hello YouTube, it's uh, Crispy Gobber doing my first art vlog that I've done for actually probably about two or three years now, no, two years I think, roughly, give or take. Uh, so all I'm going to do is basically talk about um, some of my most recent work, um, talk about some of the things I was exploring in that work, uh, and just ramble them in that regard, in that sense. So... Been fairly productive of late, um, which is good. Prolific, it's always good. And um, I've done and produced quite a lot of paintings, um, some in quite a different style than usual, so that's cool. Um, so I'll start off with this is a drawing I did about um, two or three weeks ago. It's called uh, Cosmic Undertow. So, Cosmic Undertow is kind of a abstract, almost mythological um, drawing. It has a kind of aztec -y feel in some of the, you know, the sun and stuff, and the, the eyes. There's some symbols of monkey. There's like monkey faces in it, and um, some almost like geometric shapes, which look like some kind of uh, exploration of. Um, microcosm of the universe or whatever I guess. Um, I was very happy with how this turned out actually, I really like it. Um, I've done quite a lot of these black and white drawings in the past. Um, this one's especially looks very nice, so I'm pleased with it. Okay, the next painting is... Now this is really quite a departure, it's called Ghost. It's quite a dark, figurative, expressionist painting um, of a ghostly female figure uh, holding an umbrella. Actually, basically, what I did with this is I took, um, I had one of these, one of my artist friends gave me a, um, a kind of like um, a canvas that would have had a picture on it, on it um, of a woman with a scarf in a field or something. And I was just going to paint over it, but then I thought, you know what, I can modify that and see if I can turn it into something new. So this is what I produced. Um, and as I said, it's a very dark expressionist figurative painting. I really like some of the, um, the dark colour scheme we've used, actually, the dark tonal reds and the um, quite dark yellows, and just some of the mark making is quite nice. I mean, it's quite a very small painting, but it's cool. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then I've got my next painting, which is called Two-Headed Muse. This is quite a large painting, it's about 100 centimetres by 80, and I did it in a real frenzy of uh, painting. Um, to what does this show? It's basically kind of a... It's quite an expressionistic, the mark making, the colours red and black, it's quite angry, but it looks passionate. And, um, full of expression um, and it's got this kind of figure on the left hand side which you should be able to see now which is it's almost like two figures com two figures combined in one um, one figure is moving to its right the other figure is moving to its left and then it's like a human representation of the yin yang basically um, so um, I'm really happy with this painting. It's, I really love it. You know, it's one of the best things I've done for a while. I think um, it's quite different as well because it's got more figurative imagery in there. So uh, possibly doing more of that figurative stuff in the future. Expressionist figurative stuff. Um, what else? Just uh, uh, next two are well, two collaborations I've been doing with my good friend, actually, who's another artist. Um, basically, picture house where I my studio. Um, so we've done two paintings called one called Cocoon and the other one is called Dissolve. Um, so they're kind of abstract expressionist. Um, I think my favourite of the two is Cocoon because it's got a kind of you know chaotic abstract expressionist thing going on but it's also very calm at the same time with this circle going on there. Um, so I'm very happy with that actually. Um, 
I like the um, the colour scheme of it again, which is quite a lot less colourful than they usually do. Which is good, it's good to bring about your comfort zone. Um, a lot of the mark making is very strong as well, so it's cool. Um, and then finally, I've done a picture called Jungle Chow. This is kind of a, uh, it's all of it actually, it's really it's kind of abstract. But it's very, very, oh uh, yeah, this is another one where I went really crazy and had a frenzy of paint all over the place. Um, it's, I love the intense, it's very intense colours, um, but it's quite balanced, I think. Um, and there's some nice kind of, you've got these little symbols coming in, like symbolic, it looks like almost symbolic Egyptian writing or something. A few like very scroll, sc spidery lines in there as well, which look really awesome. Um, I've also used green as well, which is not usual colour for me. I mean, I call it jungle chow because I had, I had this idea of this um, a kind of jungle with um, with all this kind of chaotic stuff going on. Um, so that's that. And that's my art vlog for the thirteenth, the first. 2012. I'm um, very happy with where my work's going and uh, I'll probably start making more vlogs again so uh, look for it. Alright, see you later.